Where were you born? In Bohr, Gelsenkirchen, in Deutschland, in Germany. How long did you live there? In the town where I was born, I only lived for my first year and a half. And then what, where did you go after that? After that, we moved to a industrial town, little industrial town of uh, Kassel, which is in the central part of Germany. Okay. Um, when did you move to America? We moved to America shortly after the Second World War. Um, it took us five years of trying to get a visa to, to immigrate to America. So we were finally able to do that in 1950. I was 15 years old at the time. When did you go back to Germany? When was the first time you went well, back? I've been back to Germany several times. And one of the, it's taken about, well, I would say about 25 years before I went back to Germany for the first time. Wow. Um, how old are you now? 83. My mother's name is Anna or Anna Diedrich, and my father's name is Fritz Diedrich. Okay. Um, um, did you go to school when you came to America? Yes, we had to go to school immediately. I mean, we went to school immediately. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and went through high school. What was, do you know what your high school was called? The high school in America? Well, South High School, down in Salt Lake. Okay, and did you go to a college after? I went to the University of Utah for a while. Yeah, um, and um, what are some jobs you had? Well, I remember the first real job I had was to work in a grocery store. Um, after that, I got a job with Hercules Powder Company later on with Litton Industries, and uh, I've had several jobs throughout my working career. When did you marry your wife? Oh, gosh. <laughs> when I was a young kid of 25 years old, we were married. Um, and how did you uh, meet her? Uh, Actually, it was a friend of mine that lined me up with my wife, Anina, and uh, uh, we went on a blind date. And the first day we went out was bowling, and uh, we hit it off really well right to start out with. Who won the game of bowling? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't uh, talk about that too often. <laughs> Or I'm not so sure that I need to tell you because you make enough fun of me. Now. Uh, okay. Um, did you serve in the military at all? Yes. Um, what? Um, for how long? And like, where did you serve, and what um, did you do? I. Uh, I got a deferment right after I got out of high school to be able to go on a mission. And as soon as I came back home from my mission, I had to either sign up right away or get drafted. I decided to, to, uh, to join the National Guard and I uh, was one of the founding members of the, of the unit called the, Military Intelligence Linkless Company. It was mostly made up of a lot of, a lot of young men who, uh, who spoke another language, and um, so I served in, the, in 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 that capacity for about ten years. It's a long time. Member of the guard, yes.
Um, when did you go on your mission, your first mission, and where did you go? Okay, I, uh, I went to, I was called in 1955 uh, to go to the, what they call the Gulf States mission at the time. By the time I got to the mission field, they changed it. Uh, it was called, a, I was called to the Texas Louisiana mission. Mm -hmm. And then by the time I got there, they changed it to the Gulf States mission. And um, which took in all of the state of Texas, all of the state of Louisiana, half of Mississippi. So it was an area which is quite, quite large. And I had a chance to, to travel quite a bit at that mission. When did you go to serve the, the next mission and how old were you? I think it was when I was about uh, 70, let's see, eight, that was eight years ago. Yeah, I was 75 years old. And my wife was 70 years old when we were called to serve in the Hamburg German mission. And our major, our assignment there was to, to work at, the, at a center called Center for Young Adults which is somewhat similar to what an institute is here.